Welcome back everybody to another tutorial in our iOS apps basic series. And for this app we will create a very basic screen flashlight. Okay, let's jump right in and open up Xcode. Let's go to create a new Xcode project. Make sure that iOS is highlighted here and we want a single view app. Let's click next and we'll call this screen flashlight app. Click next. Save it or create it wherever you would like. And we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and put this in the split view. So we have our storyboard and our view controller .swift file next to each other. So let's click on the storyboard and let's hold down our option key and click view controller. To get rid of our document outline here, let's click this. So the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and get rid of our did receive memory warning code. Let's get rid of these comments. Okay, so the only thing we're going to need for our storyboard is a button. So let's go ahead and search for the button. Let's click and drag it onto our storyboard. And for now, let's just leave it titled button. Let's go ahead and hook this button up to our viewcontroller.swift file. So to do that, let's click control and drag it over. We want this button to perform an action, so let's choose action for the connection. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And for the name, we'll just make it on off. Let's make the type a UI button and we can leave the event and arguments as their default. Click connect. Now we want to create a variable of type bool, which will have two states, true and false, and those will correspond to the on and the off for the flashlight. And we'll call this variable on off bool. Let's assign it true, and the true will correspond to what is equivalent to the flashlight being on, which will be a white background. And we want to set it to true at the start because when the app first opens up, it will open up with the white background and that will be equivalent to the flashlight being on. Okay, now let's go down to our function here. And whenever this button is pressed, basically what we want to have happen is we want it to toggle back and forth between on and off. Okay, so to achieve that on-off effect, what we want to do is use our on-off bool, and each time the button is pressed, make it the opposite of what it is currently assigned, true or false. Okay, so for example, if this starts off true, and it does, when we click the button, it will activate this function, and whatever the current bool is, the opposite will be assigned, and it will change the variable. Okay, so if it starts off true, we click the button. By using this exclamation mark, that means not or the opposite of what it was. So it's currently true, then it becomes false. Okay, and then that gets reassigned to the variable. So now the variable is false. When we click the button and activate the function again, it will be not false. So it will go back to true and so on. Now to show that, when we go ahead and run this, let's use a print and we'll say on off is now, let's use string interpolation and let's put in our variable. Okay, so each time we click the button and activate the function, we can show the current state of the on off variable. The next thing we want to do is we want to use an if statement and we want to say if on off bool and that will default to true, use our curly brackets. If that variable is set to true, which is equivalent to on, we want the background color of the screen to be white. So let's type out view, use a dot and access your background color, and we can assign white. Okay, a couple things. This if on off bool is the same as saying equals true. Okay, so you could use this or you could use this. It's really just personal preference. And this dot white should also be equivalent to UI color 
dot white. Again, whichever you prefer. Now, let's use our else, which would be the other state. So that would be false for the on off bool variable, which is equivalent to the screen flashlight being off. And for that, we want a black background. So let's type out view again. And for the background color, we want black. Okay, let's go up here and change this to iPhone 7. Let's run it, and this should bring up our simulator for the iPhone 7 and allow us to test our app. Okay, before we test this, let's do one more thing. So let's go ahead and hit the stop button. And let's use this view did load and show the current state of the on off bool. So we can use a print and let's just put in that variable name. Let's run it again. Now we should get our console down here with true and we do. Okay, now when we press this button, that should activate this function, which should change the bool. And then depending on what the bool changes to, using our if else statements, that should change the color of the background. So let's press the button and this should change the background to black, which would be equivalent to the screen flashlight turning off. Okay, it does what we wanted it to. And we also get our message down here in the console, which we created with our print here. It says the on off is now false and false is equivalent to off. Now we press the button again. Let's drag this up just a little bit so we can see our console better. Okay, so we cleared our console. Let's hit the button. It turns on. We get our message on off is now true. True is equivalent to on. Press the button again. On off is now false. The screen flashlight is off. And you can just keep doing that. And you can see how this works. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit stop. And just in case you didn't want to use the bool, let's show you another way to do this. So let's delete our code inside of this function. And let's say that you wanted this button to say on or off and have the correct corresponding background colors for the screen flashlight. When we first run this, the flashlight is on. We want the button to say turn off. So let's change this title to off. Now let's use our function. And each time the button is pressed, if the sender, which is equivalent to the button, if the sender or the button's title label text equals off, we want to change the title to the appropriate title. So in this case, it would be change it to on and set the background color. So again, we'll use sender dot set title, change it to on. Let's use the normal control state and Set the view background color to black. Else if the sender title label text is equal to on. Again, let's use the sender set title. We'll change that to off. Use the normal control state. and we'll make the background color white. Let's clear this console, and this will all make more sense once we go ahead and run it and test it. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so the screen starts off white, or the flashlight is on. Now, we wanna be able to turn it off, so we click off, and it turns off, or black, so now, since it's off, we want to turn it back on. We click on. And you can see how this works. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial. We will be doing many more tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.